hey, I'm back, you're back, let's talk about interior versus exterior angles and triangles. When we talk about the word interior, we're meaning inside, and exterior angles we're talking about on the outside. And so, what I'm going to do first of all here is, in this triangle that I've created for you is, I'm going to label the interior angles with an I. This angle is interior, as is this up here, and this here. Now, next to every interior angle is at least one exterior angle. So all of these angles next door are exterior. Now, one thing I could do is I could go ahead and extend these sides of the triangle. And actually what I've created is I've created another exterior angle next to each of the interior angles. Now, one thing you're also going to notice is the interior and the exterior angles add up to 180 degrees. Whether it's the pairs that I've shown you, the linear pairs I've shown you, or the other ones I just drew. Pretty cool. The triangle sum theorem. Well, what does that say? Well, we've actually already been using it. It says that the angles, the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. That's what we know. Which leads us into the exterior angle theorem. Now, in this picture, which angle is exterior? Angle 4. That's right. So, here's what we can do. What we know is angle 1, the measure of angle 1, let's say, plus the measure of angle 2 has to equal the measure of angle 4. So, let's look at that a little bit more. Let's throw some numbers in here and just kind of show you an example. Let's say that angle 4 is, oh, I don't know, 120 degrees. So what that's going to do is that's going to make angle 3 60 because angle 3 and angle 4 have to add up to 180. They're a linear pair. So if you think about that inside the triangle, if angle 3 is 60, that means angle 1 and angle 2 together have to add up to 120 to make the triangle add up to 180 in terms of its interior angles. So that's an example that can make it work. Okay, now let's get to the really good stuff. Let's look at these examples. we got a couple for you. In this first example, we have angle... A, J, M, right here, is 110. The angle right next door to it has to be 70 so that these two angles add up to 180. Now, that leaves us this the triangle here, A, D, J. And since we have a 50 and a 70, that means angle A has to be 60 in order for the three angles interior inside the triangle to, be add, to add up to 180. Now you'll notice here that 50 plus 60 is indeed 110. So now if we go ahead and put things in, angle DAJ, which would be up top, would be 60 degrees, and AJD would be the 70 degree angle. All right, good stuff. Here's one with some algebraic expressions on it. We can't go find the angles right away first. We're going to have to use a little bit of algebra. And we can do that because you're good at that. So, exterior angle theorem says this. The exterior angle, the 7x plus 5, is going to be equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. By remote, I mean that the angles that are farthest away from 7x plus 5. 
So if sum means add, so 4x minus 1 plus the 54. That's the equation to set things up. Now let's solve it. So to solve it, let's go ahead and combine like terms on the right side that gives us 53. Put the x's together next? I think so. Let's subtract 4x from both sides. Let's take 5 away and divide by 3, 16. So I can come over here to this nice blue box and I can put the 16 right in there and I've got one of the four things taken care of. Now to find everything else I'm going to have to go through and plug the 16 in every time I see an X. So let's find all the angles of the triangle and then we'll go back to this nice blue box and put everything in there. So if I take and put 16 in, 4 times 16, and I'm right here, 4 times 16 is 64 minus 1, 63. If you're feeling like mental math skills, if you're using them right now, yes you are, and if, you're, you've, if you've got those good mental math skills going, you can be really, really fast at this. So 63 and 54, well, those two angles add up to 117, so you know what? I'm not going to do 7 times 16 and add 5, because I know that angle is 117. Oh, I could to check it. It leaves us one angle that's missing here. It's not labeled or anything. But this triangle has to add up to 180, or we've got the linear pair, the supplementary angle. So this angle right here is also 63, and guess what? Isosceles triangle, because angle D and angle KMD are the same. So let's go back to our blue box and fill in what we need. KDM, 63 degrees, right there. KMB, the exterior angle, that's 117. And KMD, that's the other 63. We've got all four parts that we need. bring you one more fine example here. We've got no algebra here, but we have a lot of angles that we've got to find. So let's begin. Let's find a good starting place. So let's maybe start over here. Let's start over here on the right side. We have this 140 degree angle sitting out here. And below it is going to be a vertical angle that's also 140. Now these two angles make a linear pair here, so this angle would be 40, they have to add up to 180. And that 40 and this 40 are vertical angles also. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this triangle right here. I can solve it because I know two of the three angles. The only one I'm missing is right there. So let's find it. We've got this 20 up here. We've got this 40 down here. That's 60. 180 minus 60 is 120. Right here, supplementary angles or linear pair, whatever you want to call it. So this angle right here is 60. And now I can solve this triangle. We have an 80 and a 60, that's 140. Taking that away from 180 gives us 40 degrees up here. And now we can use the vertical angles again. We've got an 80, another 80 down below to the left. And these two angles have to be 100. And one thing you'll notice too is those four angles and those four angles add up to 360. Hey, that's great fun. See you next time.